from the oldest stadium in baseball, Fenway Park. MLB Network is on the air. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Kansas City Royals and the Boston Red Sox. Both Sox look to match the longest winning streak in baseball history. Coming up next. Striding in, Alex Gordon. And we are set for baseball here this Leading evening. Tonight for Kansas City, the left fielder, Alex Gordon. First delivery to him on the way. And Gordon swings and pulls First his pitch there. down the line Definitely in right, but it's back up into the crowd. Foul. Nope. Off speed pitch here, but it dips nope. below one the one. knees, evening us at one and one. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. A ball and two strikes to Alex Gordon. Now the one two home to Gordon. And right into the shift. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. So next to the plate for the Royals, Billy Hamilton. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And that misses ball one. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Down low, and the yep, plot and thickens oh. here. Three and O. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. Hey. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one the count now. Three, three and two, two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. Now it's three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Lifted in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. Makes the play and there are two gone now. So bases are empty hurt. here with two gone the and that'll bring up the second Whit baseman Whit Merrifield. Merrifield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And here's a fastball called for strike one. one Merrifield, a native of South Carolina. This is his first year at the big league level. Off the ball, plate and strike. in, hits a ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Scooped up on the backhand. Oh. Off balance throw, gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Here's J.D. Martinez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. For the Red Sox. No one fielder. J.D. Ready to deliver. Here's the first Martinez. pitch. Eight. A high fastball is in there. On one. On the ground and right at the shifted infielder. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Next up for the Red Sox, Sandy Leon. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch coming, here it is. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. And a ball and a strike now to Sandy Leon. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. One ball and two strikes to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Striding in for Boston, Matic Mitch Moreland. Third. First cuts first for him here man. with the bases open Man. and two away. Oh, Outfield right. shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Cut oh, fastball right. inside. Ball one. Oh, and he misses down. low with it. Two and zero. Oh. 
not the ideal spot to be right here. 2-0 and count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Two balls and a strike now. Two out, nobody on. Three balls and a strike Whoa, to count to Moreland. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the That's guy right. work ball, for it. Ball. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Batting four. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and Whoa. that'll bring up the versatile utility Whoa. man, Brock Holt. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. And he pulled up in time, but it's a call and strike two. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. And a change up here, but that's taken two. low in the dirt for a ball. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 2 count. Hit hard to third. And as it turns Ow. out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in now for Kansas City, Cam Gallagher. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. Cam First pitch coming. Here it is. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. A good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Ready on one and two. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw to first will be oh. in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Stepping up to the plate, Chesler Cuthbert. And he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. First offering on its way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. one fastball one. that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Cuthbert playing here in his age 26 season. This is his first year at the big league level. Grounded that up the first foul. baseline. No score here as we play inning number two. Now another one two. They try no. to come in with a fastball but it's too far in and it's even at two and two. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. Lifted down the line and left. Into the stands he got it. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Soler. First delivery to him on the way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. Chopped on the ground over to first. Moreland is there. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Here's Xander Bogarts now, and he's carrying a batting Beating average off. of just over Four 300. Nine. So clearly he's Not been a productive stop. player with the Xander. bat in his hand so far. Lofted it in the air out toward right center. Soler has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Here's Jackie Bradley that now. Not the shiniest of batting field. average as he comes Jackie. in hitting down in the 220s Bradley. for the year. Junior. First pitch of the at bat. Aye. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part Hold of the strike the zone. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. 
Bradley or JBJ as the initials read. This is his first year at the big league level. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. The two two. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It is laid off Three, and the count runs full. These are the kind of A-Bs regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. So it was a swinging strike three. Jackie Bradley Jr. becomes out number two this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. The 1-1 one -one home. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Fouled off. Another one two delivery. Ground ball left side. Cuthbert has it. Throw on to oh. first gets him and the side is retired. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Ryan O'Hearn. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. 3 0 now. Just a little bit off to start the third now. That's three straight balls. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Hey, that 3 0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 0 to punch him out. One away. Stepping up now, number two, hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. The one two misses for Grand the Michelle. second ball. Two two. Hey I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two two count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. And the Royals are in the hit column. Striding forward now is the D H number 11 the first the shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away from the belt the pitch popped him up Devers over to his right two down. So two away here in the Kansas City third and that'll bring up the veteran left handed hitting outfielder Alex Gordon. He's set and the pitch fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. Early off with his timing on that one a swinging strike. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. 
And he fouls this one off. Third inning, no score to this point. Can't quite get the low outside one corner there. It's one and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll He's step down. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. The third baseman, Rafael. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And he one misses ball, with it strike. one and one. Devers, a native of the Dominican Republic. This is his first year at the big league level. And he lays Out off for a one. ball two and one. The two one. Gets him out in front on a good changeup. I mean, this offense has gotten some ugly swings off early. This pitcher is on point right now. He is mixing and matching, and everything's working. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. And now the Red Sox the DH, Christian Vasquez. First chance for him here with a man on, following the leadoff walk. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. A one and one count now to Vasquez. The one one. He's in there for the second strike. One ball, two strikes. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Ground ball to second. This could be two. A bare hand He's for out. one. On to first, oh. and they get the double play. Now to the plate, J.D. Martinez. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. After it is Hamilton. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Billy Hamilton flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. This year against right-handed pitching, Hamilton is below the Mendoza line, a batting average under 200, unfortunately. Matty, he struggled against right-handed pitching all season long, but he just needs a few knocks today, maybe to get the confidence going. I don't think this is a norm for this ball player. And this is a fair ball as it'll head toward the pesky pole and right. And the Royals are going to get a man into scoring position right away on the leadoff double. The batter number 50. Digging Second in, Whit Merrifield. Three. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Ball Pulled one, the fastball no down a little too much there. That's ball one. Pitch nope, outside the throw. No, oh, it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Two well count the pitch, fouled away. Hamilton, the runner at third with no outs. Ah. Called strike two. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. Take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team ready. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. The catcher, number 36. Next will be the cleanup hitter, yeah. Cam Gallagher. Gallagher. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. 
Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of Got his him. first pitches have been for strikes. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. How about it? Third base. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. So Cuthbert. far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball Fastball one. well outside. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Aye. Fastball called strike, one and two. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Standing in, Sandy Leone. He looked to bounce Leading back off. after striking out his last time up. The catcher, Sandy. First pitch Leone. on its way. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. And he yep, takes ball, ball two, out. and it's two and one. The two one. Hey. It's taken for strike two. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. The first base Standing base. in, Mitch Mid. Moreland reached base oh, via the wow. walk in his first plate appearance. That's the Can't ball. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Now the 2 0 home. Finds the zone, strike one. Love the pitch call there. 2 0. You know the guy's geared up for a fastball, and you drop a changeup in the ball zone. Three. That's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Three and one to him now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Three two pitch. Is taken but called strike three as he might have gotten a little extra off the plate that time. The so two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth and that will bring up the versatile utility man Brock Holt. Lined hard toward right center. No one can make a play on this one and the first Red Sox hit is good for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting Xander Bogarts as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Whoa, now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. In the dirt here. And the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Hey, you get 2 0, your eyes light up, but you're sitting in one spot, and he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2 1 count, ready to do some damage. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Jorge Soler. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The right fielder, number 12. Jorge. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection.
talking to a number of big league nope. pitchers over That's the years. Right. They'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. And that's taken for a cold strike two. Two and two to two Jorge Soler. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Ryan O'Hearn is on deck. And a oh, good boy, eye here not. as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now batting. Now Number in the box, 66. Ryan O'Hearn. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Aye. And a fastball's in there for strike one. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing Whoa. guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And that runner will go no further than second as there the are two aboard now. Number two. Digging in now, number two. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Martinez has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. The batter. So here's number the Royals 11. DH. Number 11 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Looped out toward third, but gloved by the third baseman for the out. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. No fielder, hits in four. two trips to the plate Alex for him in the ball game. Gordon. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. One and Outside, one. That's, a ball. that's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. From the stretch, the one two. Again, he sends it out of play. Soler on second. O'Hearn at first, two out in the inning. To two right, balls and two, two strikes and now. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Billy Hamilton would be next. And he misses with it for ball four. So the here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hit softly on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. Striding into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. If he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. Strike one to start the at-bat. This is on the ground over to first. O'Hearn loves it, oh. and he'll step on first and south for the out. Now with the play, Mookie Betts. The He's four for one thus far. Mookie. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, Fastball just misses. That's ball one. 
Betts is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Swing and a miss got him reaching. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Into the box now. Rafael Devers. He drew a walk his first time up. Devers. Here's the first pitch to him. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hit sharply on the ground. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. To the plate now is the designated the batter, hitter, Christian Vasquez. Designated hitter, Christian Vasquez. First pitch of the at bat on its that's way. Good change up there to Help start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And a oh, fastball runs back. a bit inside. He's down 2-0. and oh. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Now the 2-1. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. In now, Whit Merrifield. He'll get it started in the Kansas City sixth. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. First pitch on its way. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one, and I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. The 1-1 one -one is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. The way he's been able to command his fastball, those first two pitches, don't be shocked if he goes back in there again or goes up under his chin or nasty slider down and away. He has opened up his full arsenal. Trying to Look nibble out. here, and he Three misses to run it full now. Three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. And another foul ball. Line toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Cam Gallagher, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him on the way. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. Coming to the plate now, Chesler Comfort. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back Ball shoulder, back and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. A ball and a strike now. Nine. 
the 1 1 home is ball taken for ball two. score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. Striding in once again, Jorge Soler. One in, one Jorge out, and one on Soler. here in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Another 0 2 coming. And he looks at a ball 1 and 2. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now batting. Number Stepping in, six. Ryan O'Hearn, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Pitch number 100 on its way. One and that misses inside 1-0. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is a fastball, fastball that misses. Ball he's right falling behind ball. now, 3-1. and one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you usually don't have as good a control as you do when you just let it go free and easy. Now here's a shot out to right center field. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. It's a three-nothing game. Matt Barnes, the six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the please. bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Red Sox, number 32, Matt. Number two will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Curveball ball. just misses ball apparently. One, no one and zero. Oh. Zero. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so Two fun one. to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, J.D. Martinez. Off. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger 0-0. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Ready now, three. Sandy Leon. Sandy. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch on its way. 
And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that'll bring up a former gold glover, the first baseman, Mitch Moreland. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Behind 0-2 now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled off. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And they'll try to one tempt ball, him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Tried to get him to chase that 0-2 curveball there, but he wasn't fighting. Very well could see it again here, though. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Here's Brock Holt now. One now for back. two in the ballgame thus far. Oh. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Royals leading this one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do so, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Ready for another chance. Number 11. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Number 11. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Swung on and one and two. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. Waiting his turn on deck is Alex Gordon. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So the Royals batting order turns Alex over and set to go. Gordon. Alex Gordon, he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. So striding in, Billy Hamilton as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Loves hitting left-handed off of right-handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and two, the count to Billy one ball, Hamilton. Two strikes, the count. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. With Merrifield the next to hit. 50. He's working on Second a one eight. for three thus With far. Merrifield. First pitch of the at bat. In the dirt, and now let's see. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Number, 
Now a 58-foot curveball no that misses for a ball. With two outs and a base open, I don't think he's going to see anything to hit in this at bat. Not much reason for it. Three and oh now. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation. And now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. And that's finally over for a strike. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. And that four, misses that ball out. four. So it's first and second now with two out. Now that stepping in, that's Cam Gallagher. Cam. Two outs and two runners Gallagher. aboard here in the seventh inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Aye. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Great job of getting back in the zone with a hard fastball after the walk. I think he might have let a little frustration yeah. out with that pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Oh. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3-2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first he's is out. in time, Wait, and the up. inning is over. Kevin McCarthy gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 61, Kevin McCarthy. Into the box, Xander Bogarts. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. McCarthy has tossed over 30 innings so far this season. And when you look at his That's whip bolted. over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number. Over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base Be paths, right. unfortunately. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. And this misses, count. so that'll three, fill two. the count at three and two. Jackie Bradley Jr. is on deck. Takes this the other way to right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Ready for another shot now. now Jackie Bradley Jr. He was a ground out victim Jackie. last time up. Yeah, Matty, yeah, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense oh, is, out. they could certainly roll too. One ball, no strikes to count. Now a throw over to oh, first, and the runner will get back standing. Bogarts aboard here at first with nobody out. That's oh, wide, 2-0. That oh. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman Rain holding up. the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. And nope, the sinker arm is too four. low here as he loses him. It's ball four. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. 
when you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit, the best thing to do is pound the zone and get ahead 0-1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. That misses and we're even at two and two. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. First and second here with nobody out. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Here's another two two. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. Now One away. Third baseman, Raphael. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Rafael Devers will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. He's set. Here it comes. He'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Now it's 2-0. Well, this no is the friend. matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. On to third, there. but he's in safely as a run also comes in to score, making it a two-run ball game. Number the 63 Number is on, and he'll take over on the mound hitter. in relief. Vasquez. Christian Vasquez will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this will be fouled away. This is a situation where you have to step out of the box and tell yourself, my job is to get the runner in from third. It'd be nice to gap off one and get them both in, but you want to take a little pressure off you offensively and just focus on being productive. Now a nope. fastball that Excellent just start. misses here as the count moves to two and one. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys Zero. on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch Got himself ahead in the count now. The 2 2. Hit high in the air down the right field line. After it is Soler. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the batting order turns now over now and set to go. J.D. Martinez. It was a backwards K strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Eduardo Rodriguez please. has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57, Eduardo Rodriguez. Coming to the plate now, Chesler Cuthbert. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Chesler Cuthbert. First offering on its way. No balls in one strike. Rodriguez has made a name for himself as a very effective reliever in his career, but he really doesn't fit the bill as a prototypical bullpen arm. So many guys bringing huge strikeout numbers these days. He isn't one of them. But no, he's not, Matty D, but what he does do, he does a great job of missing barrels of the bats. He changes speeds, moves the ball in, out, up, and down. Not overpowering, but he knows how to pitch. One and oh, the count. 
One and zero pitch on the way. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Digging in once again, Ryan O'Hearn, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he popped him up. Bogarts is calling for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Jorge Lopez is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom MVP. half of the eighth. Number 28, Jorge Lopez. Leading off the inning, Sandy Leon. And they'll Leading need him off. to get something Warner, going here. Off. Even though we're the moving catcher. into the back end of this Can't game, be. they're only down by a couple Way. runs. Oh. You know that old slogan, a boop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Bobby takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Lopez playing here in his age 26 season. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball now game to forget thus far. Four base. strikeouts. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch on the ground near home. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Ready with another 0 2. Good well, take high. there to lay off the high fastball. You know, something to keep in mind they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. Looking up is Gordon, and it's gone into the monster seats. So the bases are clear now, now following the home run. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Brock Holt. First pitch on its way. Nope. Down Ball on the one. shins and missed with it. Ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball I got two. two on the count. Both teams with six hits so far. And he can't three catch one. the three corner ball, here, so he's strike. behind three and one. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. Hey. It seems like they always come back to bite. Brock Holt now with a full count. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. A laser that time that'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Two away now. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes ball one. Hit the other way out toward right field. And here's Soler to make the grab, and that will end the inning. Striding in to start the ninth, number two, we as they'll look for some added insurance the before the bottom number half two. of the inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth Aye. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Now the pitch. Swing and a blooper to the right side. 
Betts coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. So striding forward now, now number back. 11. No number hits 11. in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the first pitch to him. One A ball and no strikes. A runner at first with no outs here. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold Zero. strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Count is one and two now. The one, two. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that'll get over the wall for a ground rule double, and that'll keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. Gordon. From the stretch. Ball. ball one as he lays off below the zone. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after no getting hit around early. Two balls and no strikes to the Kansas City left fielder. 2 0 count. The pitch will That's not catch three. the zone. Ball three. I got three and oh. Three and one. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. Right side, but it's well fouled. Now the payoff pitch home. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. And ball there's four. ball four. So the bases are loaded and we'll see how the infield decides to play it here. Billy Hamilton. Here comes the first pitch. Ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. When you're hitting in a situation like this you have to find a way to slow ball your heart three. rate down. The pitcher's the one ball. with no all strike. the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Hey. At the knees for a called strike and it's back to even at two and two. The two two gets Zero. him swinging. He struck him out. Now with the plate, Whit Merrifield. Batter, it was a walk in Second his last eight. trip. Whit Merrifield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Count now a ball and a strike. The set and the 1-1 one -one pitch. Devers has it. Hope for one Out. on the middle, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Cam Gallagher. Hope for four with a strikeout and thus far. Gallagher. First delivery to him on the way. Fly ball out toward left center field. Bradley on the run. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Ladies Ian Kennedy is the man called please. on to close this one now and earn a save the in the ninth. Number 31, Ian Kennedy. Stepping into the box, Jackie Bradley Jr. Leading it off. was a walk well, in his up. last trip. The center fielder, Jackie. Ready with the first Bradley. pitch. Here it comes. Junior. And a strike called at the oh, knees. One. Nothing in one. And that oh, misses one and one. That's a ball. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Line drive to left. 
Gordon is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. At the plate, Mookie Betts. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Ready once again, Rafael Devers. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Right side, hit hard. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at all to make a play here, so despite the effort, the inning will continue. For the Red Sox. Next will be the designated hitter, hitter Christian, Christian Vasquez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Kennedy pauses. Here's his offering. Ball one. Just off the outside ball that one, time, no laid off for a ball. Count even now at one and one. Here it comes on one and one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Weak grounder down the line at third. Swinging a soft liner. Throw on the second for the force, and the ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top's player of the game. Yeah, I thought he pitched really well. He wasn't necessarily dominant, but turned in a good, solid effort and definitely was a factor in the win here.